So, uh, a little bit about me. Um, I am a recent graduate from OSU Theater, and upon my graduation, I got this um, fellowship to work with the Royal Shakespeare Company. Here is the story of A Midsummer Night's Dream, okay? In the city of Athens, there is a beautiful young woman called Hermia, <laughs> who has a best friend called Helena, who is also very beautiful. Shepherdess, we call him better. Be not proud. Oh there, gentle Hermia, may I marry you? There, gentle Hermia. What is it there? May I, may I, I marry thee? Oh Content with Hermia? No, I do repent. The tedious moments I was her respect. Not Hermia, but Helena I love. Who would trade a raven for a dove? So, <laughs> I told this because the Athenian woods, which you guys are going to go through, are full of trees. Four trees. Uh, are we that uh, Goddess. Goddess. Nymph. Perfect. Perfect. Divine. It's so. <laughs> and this Lacrenius, right and sinister, through which the lovers are to whisper. <laughs> like, cause like, whenever he would say it, it'd be like, he'd be kind of taken back. Like, whenever, I noticed that whenever you said, you, he was kind of like, taken back. Like, she really cares a lot. Like, mm -hmm. back up. I don't like you like that. Right, right, okay. Okay, good. And how did that make you guys feel? I mean, be completely honest. Be completely honest. If it didn't do anything for you, we could do I found it, um... Helped me listen more, for sure. Like I, like I guess, um, I never noticed that he said fair for me, or like I like hear it, but I didn't like really register before. Like listening to her, and now like actually listening and being able to pick out those words, it's helping. Like, it's helping. I can definitely. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. Good. 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 If I do it, let the audience look to their eyes. An unquestionable spirit! What you have loved? A crew of patches! Rude mechanicals that were being bred upon Athenian stars! I was. But there is no man to tell what! You thought I was? You thought I had? And thence from Athens, turn away our eyes to see new friends. Oh, hateful hands to tear such loving words! Oh, and joyous wasps to feed on such sweet honey and kill the bees that yield it with their stings. How came her eyes so bright? Not with salt tears. If so, my eyes are oftener washed than hers. Wow, you guys should be really proud of yourselves. This is awesome, and I, and I, how do you guys think it's feel? Wait. I, I didn't it's think so. that there was a lot of pressure. I think it was just like, we're all reading this, so it's not, if I mess up, it's not a big deal because like three other people have probably already messed up and it's because it's, it's no big deal, it's fine. And then like you came in and like, I don't know, you made it seem more relatable. Definitely know that out of class or whatever, you have to get up and act it out. If I were in class, I'd be so compelled to get up and like move <laughs> while I was doing it. And people would be like, what are you doing? And I'm, I'm doing Shakespeare. <laughs> I saw so many people who you know, when I came in and observed the monologues for the first time, who now feel like they have permission to break out of their shell a little bit, to play around and not <coughs> be so reserved. It's so much easier to grasp because it's yeah. just there for you as soon as you start saying it. The way it's taught now, I, I think that if you're going to teach Shakespeare, you might as well do it so we can of it. We just sit in our desk. We don't even read it out loud. We just listen to a tape. We read Act 1 and Act 2 and now we're like watching the movie but it's like the actors, they are good and like no I don't think... It. Yeah, no one's <laughs> watching it. Like I know a couple people that fell asleep. Uh, as a teacher, what I would do, like my mood would do, he would get us up and he would like have us like get ourselves loosened up with tongue twisters and everything like that. And I 
thought that was pretty cool because like some of those words, man. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now we're reading Hamlet in, in my English class and I read Hamlet's monologue in the uh, act three and I got it like when I was reading through the first time and it was so cool to like understand how he was feeling without having to go spark notes and cheat. And I'm saying things like, uh, Phoebe doth behold her silver fishes in a watery glass. I'm like, whoa, you just said at nighttime, but you like, expanded it. Oh. We can use like, even like the stuff right now, like in like modern text, if we don't understand it. Absolutely. Like, yeah. to just like physicalize it or like do anything. And you can understand things that are normal to us with the Shakespeare. So it's not just Shakespeare, it's everything that I'm trying to pursue. Use it, teach it, do whatever you need to do with it, and because uh, the work doesn't stop here, and it doesn't stop after high school, if you wish to pursue this. Like, I just, I wish I could like, do it again, because I actually have an interest for it, and it makes me feel more intelligent.